Hello the viewers, hello the listeners. My name is Moya Becky. I'm your favorite animation instructor. Today I'd like to be taking you through on how to design a 3D logo. And the app we're going to make use of is the Pixel Lab. Can you go to your Play Store and download Pixel Lab? If that is done, then let's get started. Hold on, let me make my mouse available. Okay, this is it. Pixel Lab. Let's click on it. Okay, once you click on the Pixel Lab, this is what will be displayed on your screen. New text. This is just an empty background. There is nothing here, but all you need is your creativity. You have to be creative for you to bring out something beautiful from this empty background okay we are going to design a logo and we don't need this test now so let's delete it you click on it then you go to the delete icon click OK and it's gone okay for this logo we will need a cycle so let's go to where the shapes are you can get the shapes down here I can also get it up here as well. So let's click here. I think this is easier. Let's click on this plus. Okay. Text, current date, sticker, shapes from gallery draw. We need shapes. Let's click on the shapes. Okay. We don't need square I want to make use of cycle click on this arrow down click on it to bring out different shapes for you what we we'll need here is the cycle click on it then you click on mark here good you can increase it can increase the size any size you want you can increase it okay we we'll need another cycle what we just have to do is to copy this one so you come to this icon here click on it to show, okay copy click on copy Mind you, two same colors can be together because you won't be able to see the other shape. So let's change the color of this other shape. Search for color. Okay, color. Click on it and it will change the color. Click on enable see let's change the color let's make it black search down here for black color this is it click on black then you click on mark okay now well, what we have to do is to match them together increase the white a bit increase the black shape then you mesh merge it together join it rather for you to make sure the other black is well placed on the white shape you use this 
position here click on it click on position reduce reduce it then take it this way okay okay then you click on mark okay okay the next thing to do is to merge the two shapes mind you if you don't make the, the two shapes the black one may shift from the white shape so let's use this icon here click on it click on this one down here then you click in the box Okay, the box box then you click merge the third icon here down are you sure you want to merge the selected objects okay click okay then you click on this icon again no not that sorry this one Now click on it good as you can see the two shapes are being meshed together the white can't separate from the black so this is it now we're going to input our, our text let's click on this plus click on the plus Okay, and click on text double click on the text so that you can input your write-up erase it and type back months media click ok we can let's change the the fonts let's make it uppercase that's capital letters click on ok okay drag it into the cycle let's increase the cycle Okay. Come down here. Click on this A down here. And let's search. Search for star. Let's give it a bold star. Okay. Click on B. Bold. click on mark okay let's change the font type go to fonts click on fonts see the different styles here different fonts okay let's use this a free fat face regular Okay, and click on OK. All right. Now I want to curve the text. You click on curve here. Click on this plus to curve it. Keep clicking till you get the exact shape you want move it up okay i think this is okay click on mark okay now let's next thing we're going to do is to change it to 3d text 
click on 3d 3d text click on enabled as you can see that's changed to 3d let's reduce our depth okay I think it's okay then you click on the mark all right we are going to input another text down here so let's click on text you double click on it and input your text sorry click on ok let's increase the size click on it and search for size this is it. this is it let's increase the size keep clicking Keep clicking. Reduce it a bit, cause we're going to we're going to reduce the shape. Okay. Click on the mark. Let's change the fonts type go to fonts click on fonts let's give it arm wrestler you click ok ok bring it down a bit okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to add shape. Another shape. Click here. Click on shape. We're going to make use of square. And this is it. Let's increase the radius size. That's the edge. Increase it. It's okay. And let's reduce the size of the shape. Reduce. Okay. Okay, now you click on mark here. Good. I'm still going to add another shape. But first of all, let's change the color of the square to red. So you bring, you come down here to change the shape. Here is for this A is for alphabets. You want to change the color the shape the font size or whatever this a here is meant for sh is meant for alphabets meant for text you can't use the features here for shapes click on the shape then you click here this icon here this icon here is meant for shapes you can crop the shape you can edit the shape copy font move it front or back position and all that all for the shape so now we're going to change the color click on color click on enabled okay that's what we need click mark all right so 
sorry i'm going to add another shape to it to this square let's go here again click on shapes we need triangle so change click on this array down here to change it to triangle click on triangle click on mark okay turn the shape then reduce it use this to reduce the shape you reduce it reduce it then you drag it into the shape okay all right we need another shape that is, we need cycle go to shapes click on the arrow down and click on cycle no sorry cycle cycle click mark okay let's increase it use this to increase place it on it okay Then let's make it to go back let it be behind the shape click on back that's gone back now what we're going to do is to merge the white and black shape with our text and the red shape so let's click on this icon click on this one down then you select what you want to merge I want to merge this black and white Pegmont media YouTube and this is that red shape then you click on the third icon down here are you sure you want to merge the selected objects click OK okay then you click the icon again as you can see the white the white triangle has moved you may ask where has it gone to it has gone behind the shape let's move it out and see this is it here let's take this to go behind the white shape click back say the white shape has appeared okay let's make it to be sorry you can undo what you've done with this arrow here click on undo good okay let's move it so that it to be in the middle all right now let's change the color of this cycle and we don't need the colors here we will need the color in a gallery we're going to get it from using this texture you click on texture click on album icon let me search for the color I need hold on
okay click on mark good click on enable then click on the mark here good as you can see the cycle has changed its color now let's take it behind the ship place it properly let's make make sure it's well placed by using our position click on position reduce it and place it properly good and let's take it behind make it go behind the ship okay now the next thing we're going to do is to remove the white color and we will need remover to do that so let's click on erase color click on enabled and it has erased the white color as you can see the the other color the cycle we changed is reflecting let's increase the tolerance okay click on mark good this is it now let's merge the whole work together click on merge icon come down here and click into the box all and click on this arrow here on this icon here are you sure you want to merge the selected objects okay you go click here again and this is it all the image are together the white can move the red can move they are all together so now let's change our work to 3d let's use the 3d shape you click on 3d click on enabled let's bend it a bit scroll down let's use the y rotation click on it let's use the x rotation click on it okay and click mark the next thing to do is to give it a shadow click on shadow click on shadow click on enabled it has given it a shadow already and click on mark good next thing we're going to do is to change our background and let's click on this uh, icon here to change our background You can change the background from the already templates the embedded templates in the pixel lab there are various pen templates here you can use this whichever one you want see them
see there are lots of them okay let's use any one from here you can also use from your gallery you can also use images from your gallery click cancel and go to your gallery and choose any shape any um, templates you want let's use what is given to us here Let's select a new one here. Okay. Let's use this. Click map. All right. Think we are done. Um, make sure you save your work click on the save icon because if you don't save it and you come back here next time it may not be here you can save it as project or save as image when you save it as project it will save in the pixel lab you save it as image it will save in your gallery at this junction i hope i've come i've let you know how to make your 3d logo animation your 3d logo rather without stress at this junction we've come to the end of tutorial section 3d logo stay tuned for more videos i'm still your favorite animator morning becky